Alrighty, boys, welcome back, and and my six percent female audience, welcome back. Listen, um, if you did have your saves corrupted in Stalker Two because of the recent updates, um, I did look through the forums, and it looks like there is finally a solution. As you can see right here, heavily upvoted. Uh, people were saying that it worked, even though uh, um, the original poster uh, said that it did work. Um, and that he can play the game again with his saves, even though all his saves were corrupted, which is crazy. Um, here it is. It's pretty good in detail. Uh, what's it called? We're going to go over it uh, what's it called, very shortly. But yes, if this is happened to you, this looks like it's only on Steam currently, but it is. if it's happened to you in other places, I will keep looking and see if I can find a change. I mean, a uh, solution for you as well. But currently, this looks like um, Steam is having a lot of issues um, in terms of like the patching and also, you know, the saves working after a new patch comes out, you know what I mean? Like just like, you know, sometimes, you know, some games, um, whenever they update, uh, saves stop working because they have certain, um, you know what I mean? Changes to it. But most games, they try to be as compatible as possible when it comes to, um, updating because it's very annoying, uh, to obviously lose like that much hours of gameplay. But all right, let's go over it. So first you want to turn off uh, steam cloud for stalker two. You want to open the folder. It tells the folder right over here. Uh, grab all saves and move them to your desktop. Delete the folder, Stalker 2, from your app data local. Open Stalker 2 in a new game. Skip the cutscenes. Creates a new Stalker 2 folder. There it is. Make one new uh, save manually. Do not turn off the game. Just tab out. Open uh, the same folder. Find your new manual save. Uh, bring back one of your original saves from the desktop and put it uh, in the above directory. And then rename your original save a file with the same name as the manual save. All right, I'll be honest with you, and then load your original save as the last one. I'll be honest with you, this doesn't seem like too much of a hard steps to do. Uh, the only thing you really have to do is just find the folders, and then it's pretty self-explanatory. You move some files, you delete some files, you edit some files. Very easy, very simple. Um, but yeah, hopefully anybody who is having a problem, this will be linked down below. Check it out. Hopefully it helps you. And uh, if you're having problems in any other... Um, you know, councils or anything like that, let me know because I got mine from Microsoft Store. So um, I'm not having any problems currently, but I will keep you informed. Alrighty, boys.